Hi, I'm here at the International Conference on Advances in Nutrition and Health Communication. This is being hosted by Avinashilingam University in association with Shanti Ashram. Uh, many delegates from various countries like uh, Finland and the UK are detailing on various aspects of health in accordance with communication. Let's go. We have with us Dr. Susanna Jax from Finland. So let's talk to her on behalf of Kobe Post. Hi. Hello, nice to meet you. Okay, okay, uh, you're going to talk about? Um, in the seminar, I'm going to talk about uh, web and mobile based applications in lifestyle interventions. How is uh, internet browsing and uh, self diagnosing a bad thing? Aha, uh -huh. well, uh, actually, in my talk, I'm not going to talk particularly about that. Okay. But I would say, in, in general, that uh, there are good sides and bad sides. Because on the other hand, um, you can have very good websites where you can find good and trustful information, but then you should know which pages are those ones. And on the other hand, there can be web pages where anybody can write anything, and then you should be, you need to have kind of health literacy to be able to differentiate which information is trustful and which one is not. Okay. Um, given the picture of nutrition in India, how is Finland comparing to India? Um, well, I know more about overweight and obesity. And if we talk about that, approximately or more than half of Finnish adults are overweight and one-fifth of them are obese. And if we talk about children, 20% of Finnish children are either overweight or obese. So we have kind of the same numbers as in many Western, so-called Western countries. So I think we have uh, a bigger problem with overweight and obesity than you have in India. Then again, you in India also have the problem with undernutrition, which we don't, do not have that much. So we are more like struggling with the obesity problem and you kind of have a double burden both with undernutrition and overnutrition. Okay. So how long have you been in India? Well this time uh, we arrived last Friday and we are going home on uh, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, um, you have been to India before this? This is my second time and the first time was nine years ago and it was also partly here in Coimbatore. And that is because uh, my husband actually lived here when he was a young boy. So 40 years ago he lived here for two years and, and that's why we have this wonderful relationship with Coimbatore and Tamil Nadu and we want to come back again and again. Okay. Um, what difference do you see then and now Coimbatore? Oh, I, I think I see uh, a wonderful like um, development in um, in uh, many ways. Uh, for example, yesterday we visited a big shopping mall here, which we heard has been here for five years. Well, the, the food and the people are just as, as lovely and friendly as they were nine years ago. <laughs> so I don't know what more I can say. But, but you can see, and, and we also traveled outside Coimbatore, and then you can see how the, how the city is becoming bigger. So that areas which were forest nine years ago are now there are a lot of buildings there. Would you recommend a person like me using an app for a health examination? Well I think it depends a lot on um, uh, that um, different people benefit from different approaches and I believe that some people may benefit from uh, technological uh, innovations or technological health apps. Um, then comes the question that again that how do you find the good ones? Okay. Thank you for talking with us. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure.